you guys, it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm super, super excited to do this video actually because this video is going to be my, how did I word this? Beauty travel essentials, travel beauty essentials. Beauty travel essentials. My beauty travel essentials. So the products that I literally never can travel without and I'm actually, like, the reason I'm really excited about this video is because I am going on a super exciting trip pretty soon. I'm pretty sure if my calculations are correct, by the time you guys are watching this video, like, by the time I upload it, I'll be on vacation. So this is kind of, like, pack with me a little bit because I am packing right now and, like, getting all my stuff ready. And it just is making me so excited, like, talking about vacation and the products that I like to take with me when I travel because I love traveling. I love vacation. I'm so excited. I'm going to get into the video and I'm going to start off with my skincare products of this, you know, video. So the first one is my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel. And this is my cleanser face wash that I use in the shower. So obviously I could not travel without this. I also really like this because it makes my skin feel extra hydrated, which is also really important when you're going on vacation, especially if you're going somewhere warm and you're going to be in the sun. And then the second skincare product that I can't travel without is my Clinique Clarifying Lotion. So this is, this has been in my skincare routine for I feel like ever. It's been so many years that I've been using this product. Comfortable non-drying exfoliator. Gently removes dull, dry flakes to uncover skin that's vibrant and glowing. Instantly refines pores, smooths texture, helps skin accept moisture. Over time, helps revitalize skin's natural renewal process. So I always just put this on right before I put on my moisturizer. Um, so yeah, it's just an important part of my skincare routine. And my moisturizer is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream for Extra Dry Skin. I am in love with this moisturizer. I tried this initially. I bought this in my prom get ready with me video. Um like a month ago and that's when I started using this and I honestly have noticed a change in my skin like I feel like it just looks nicer like it I don't know how to even really explain it but I feel like it looks better and it feels better it doesn't feel like it's drying out as much I mean I know winter's over as well and winter obviously doesn't help how my skin like the drying of my skin but I do feel like this really made a difference and this is super super important like I said because I know my face is gonna burn and this stuff just feels so good on my skin It like it feels cooling you know what I mean like when you have those products that you put on your face and it feels like cold when it goes on oh they are the best I swear so this is definitely a must I am obsessed with this stuff another super super important one is the simple micellar cleansing water I use this to take off my makeup it doesn't have any harsh chemicals or artificial perfumes or dyes and it's kind to skin and it really no it's not irritating at all to my skin it's just a really nice gentle makeup remover and I love this I <laughs> like I always put some of this on a cotton round or cotton ball and run it over my face and the amount of dirt that it can get off of your face is incredible I love this stuff it makes my skin feel so clean and fresh and another one is the Mario Badescu um, rose water spray with aloe herbs and rose water I really like this because again it feels cooling on my skin and it feels just really refreshing and it also has aloe in it which is really really important if you get burned um, aloe is literally my best friend in the summer so I love products that have aloe in them because I know that my skin is going to love them too and then the last product is one that I actually just picked up at Target because it was in the car wheel app and I saw that it was on sale right now and I actually got the very last one and I threw away the packaging oops this is just an EOS EOS lip balm and it has aloe in it shocker and it also has SPF 30 which is gonna be really important for vacation and traveling in general because a lot of people tend to forget that your lips need protection too from the sun and that's why I think it's really important to carry a lip balm that has SPF in it with you when you travel. What's that? I heard the, the Pusha T this. Yeah, I did. Isn't it fire? Yeah. Isn't it way better than Duppy Freestyle? But anyway, moving on to the makeup products. I usually, when I travel, I carry them in this bag. It's from Victoria's Secret. I got it with, it comes with a matching black like tote bag. I got it because I spent too much money one time on Black Friday at Victoria's Secret. It's a really, really nice size to hold the makeup that I 
I literally travel with this all the time. I'm gonna go through and pull stuff out and we're gonna talk about it. First item is the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I love this so much. I love it especially because it is a dewy finish so it just makes my skin look dewy and glowing. I'm going out to dinner or something or we're doing something else besides laying out. Um, definitely gonna need this to make sure my makeup stays in place especially if it's hot outside and humid and muggy and next one is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder or basically any setting powder I really want to try ones other than this because I don't know this is like really the only one I've ever used so I really want to branch out but basically the point is that I always bring a setting powder because I have to set my under eyes no matter what because if I do not set my under eyes things get messy and it's not cute next I have the hula bronzer by benefit I like to bring this just in case I feel like I want to add um extra color or definition to my face like if I'm going out like I said to dinner doing something other than laying out at the beach I like to do more of a makeup look I mean it's obviously going to be a pretty natural minimal look I really like the sh like the shade and the finish that it gives and it just makes me feel bronzed and I don't know like I love feeling like that when I'm on vacation because I feel like when I'm tan and I have like bronze skin and my face is bronze I'm like then some application tools that I need to bring so beauty blender that's self-explanatory I can't leave without my beauty blender I need it this is just a little type of like a smaller brush this to put on the hula bronzer so these two go together this is my eyebrow um, brush with the spoolie and then the angle brush I use this to put on my dip brow which I will get to in a sec and then lastly just my eyelash curler oh one more um, this is my favorite eyeshadow brush in the world this is the morphe r37 if you've seen literally any of my videos that mention makeup at all you probably know that i'm obsessed with this brush more brush <laughs> this brush is the elf blush brush i use this to put on the setting powder underneath my eyes and it also it just fits so nicely under there like see and for eyeshadow i like to bring a small palette because i don't like to take up a lot of room and it has to fit in this bag so like this is the narcissist wanted palette it has really beautiful neutral shades which are perfect for my natural looking makeup looks that i do on vacation so this is honestly the perfect palette for me to bring with me when i go literally anywhere then like i mentioned earlier this is my anastasia beverly hills dip brow i'm in the shade soft brown i dabbled with the um brow is for a little bit but that this has lasted me so long and the brow is lasted me like two minutes so i think i'm gonna stick with this one. Oh, can't go anywhere without this like if i don't put eyebrows on then who am i and i like to bring a mascara obviously this is the clinique high impact mascara i love this mascara i think it's probably my favorite this little i got this in like a sample thing from clinique forever ago and it's lasted me a while so i feel like i should probably invest in the other one it's like 18 bucks and then typically i'll just put on chapstick or something for my lips because it's the most soothing and it's easy and you don't have to like worry about it when you're eating or anything but if i did want anything else in my lips like a little bit of color or anything that's not a chapstick then i will just use a nyx butter gloss and this one is in the shade creme brulee um i really like this because it's really light and it just looks natural and cute and you can probably tell them all about the natural makeup looks i love natural makeup I just I think it's like my thing honestly and the last two products which are I'm so excited to talk about these like you guys don't even understand the first one is this concealer this is the Maybelline fit me concealer again if you've seen any of my videos in the past you probably know that I love this stuff and this is my favorite concealer ever it's drugstore it's like I don't know 10 or 11 dollars um, definitely always have to have this um, typically I will only wear concealer when I'm going out like I said a lot of these products are just if i wanted to do more of a makeup look if we decide to go out and you know shop or eat or do other stuff other than sit at the beach um except for the eyebrow stuff because god knows i need to put eyebrows on no matter what i'm doing and then the final product which is basically like my favorite thing in the entire universe right now and like the inspiration for this entire video because i just wanted to talk about this product because it is so important to me the it cosmetics your skin but better cc cream okay listen you guys this is the only cream or foundation or whatever that does not crease on my face after like a period of wearing it 
there are so many reasons why I love this. Okay, so that's one of them. Another reason is because I don't have to apply a lot of this to get nice coverage. I mean, obviously it is buildable, so you can build it up to full coverage, or you can just put a little bit of it on and it gives you, like it really just evens out my skin tone and it makes my skin just look so much better than it did before I put it on, even with just a little bit of this. I also love that it's not a foundation, it's a CC cream and it's not, it just doesn't feel heavy on my skin and listen, I love this stuff. I could rave about this so much. Another reason why I love it so much is because it has SPF 50. 50! D. SPF 50 plus UVA UVB broad spectrum physical sunscreen. Not only does this protect my skin from sunburn and damage, but it makes it look cute and I don't even have to use that much to make my skin look a million times better than it did before I put it on. So those are basically the essentials, my holy grails, the products that I pretty much use all the time. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you guys have any fun summer plans, comment them down below if you're going on any fun vacations to anywhere. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!